Ms. Jefferson, you say you're here today to end the neighborhood rumors and lies about your sexual history. You've asked the court for the results of a paternity test on Sir Javion, your two-month-old son, to help you prove you were faithful to the man you say is his father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Singleton, you argue that Ms. Jefferson is not to be trusted or believed. Yes, Your Honor. And you contend that not only did she once lie about being seven months pregnant, but you claim you also have physical proof that two other men could have fathered her son. Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, uh, Ms. Jefferson, you are suing the defendant for $2,000. Yes, Your Honor. You claim Mr. Singleton took baby clothes and furniture from you without that's your correct. knowledge or consent. Just three weeks before you gave birth to your yes, son. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. So, Ms. Jefferson, let's start with the $2,000 in baby items you claim Mr. Singleton took unlawfully. What happened? Okay, three weeks prior to that, me and Mr. Singleton had got into it. Mm -hmm. um, it was about some Facebook stuff I seen on his page. So, I asked Mr. Singleton, when he go, take all his clothes and don't come back. So, I was at my sister, I was at my sister house, so I went to the doctor, they said my pressure was up. So, they was like, um, due to a pre so you're gonna have to have your baby early. Okay, so I was in the hospital. I had my baby. It was three days. We had to stay in the hospital for three days. Okay, so I come home and I go in my house and the first thing I noticed was my rug messed up. I said, okay, so I, I put my rug... No, excuse me, Your Honor. You excuse, me. excuse me, Your Honor. When I put out my... When I um, looked at my rug, it was paint on my rug. So as I pursued to go in the room and I um, opened my door, everything was on the floor, he messed up. I looked in my closet. All the baby clothes were gone. So I went in the other room. I went in the other room. It was a box with three joint outfits in there. It was six to nine months, and my baby was a newborn. My baby, went, how can my baby wear six to nine months um, joint outfits? And that was too big. But no matter of fact, Your Honor, I have um, a, um, a picture where he took, where the clothes was on. Um, Let where me he got see the clothes. that, Jerome. And also, I have, I broke down what Mr. Singleton purchased and what I had purchased, purchased and receipts and stuff. Yeah, and I So, yeah, Mr. Singleton, fill me in. You took the baby's clothes? I, I, you know, she put me out three weeks before the baby was due. And she went on Facebook and told, I mean, I have over Your a thousand Honor, friends on Facebook. Why I went on Facebook. Can I talk, Your please? Honor? I went on Facebook and my friend called me and said, man, did you check your Facebook page? I said, no, what's going on? He said, your baby mama on that saying you could stay in New Orleans. So I looked, I said, really? Your I Honor, said, she three weeks, she about to be three weeks with the baby. How'd she tell me that? Your Honor, okay, we Okay, can I talk, please? No, because you was, you was not being truthful. So it when don't I, matter when I, if when we, I did, it don't matter, you shouldn't have took your son clothes. What man would take their son clothes? When I did talk to her? What man would take their son clothes? Okay. You're right. The baby so don't have I'm, nothing I'm gonna, to do I'm gonna get to... to why you took That's the baby's clothes. Baby's but clothes. I wanna under, clothes. What I want to understand is, did you take the baby's clothes? Yes, I did. All right. I now, did. that's the answer I'm, to the I'm question. I'm gonna be a man, and I did take the baby clothes because she told me to get all your belongings. You the reason this, why you got I'm, put I'm, out. I bought the clothes. So I took okay. all my belongings. So hold on. This evidence you presented... Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. These are the clothes yes, that you all had. All them clothes, them all the clothes we I purchased and he purchased. She didn't. All these clothes I see here were yes. clothes purchased yes, for Your the Honor. baby by the yes, both Your of Honor. you. And the reason why I put him out my house, Your Honor, because he was messaging a girl on Facebook when he he's supposed to went out of town with his friend, Mr. Williams, to New Orleans, and he said when he get there, he wanted to see the girl. And I seen it. So guess what I did? I went on Facebook and I told him, when he get when you leave, take all your clothes. You post on Facebook and tell him to get out. Yes, I did. And when you got home, he was gone, he was but he gone. also took Everything the baby's clothes and your clothes. He... Even the baby bag he took. He didn't take my clothes, he took the baby bag. He just, took the baby bag. So just the baby bag. Baby and all bag the clothes. and the baby so clothes. So these receipts that you presented are for all the things you say he yes, took. Yes, Your Honor, that's all correct. Right. Yeah, and I object. I really do. I object. I object because she went on my Facebook page. I was messaging my friends. That wasn't your friend. What friend you said called, I wanted to hook up with, with my baby. friends when I went to New Orleans. Your She's Honor, a jealous that's... female. Hold on now, Mr. Uh, Singleton. Just give me a minute. I'm looking through these receipts, and I see receipts for all these outfits. That I purchased. You purchased and I purchased, too. It don't matter who she purchased, purchased it. You it don't with my take money. your baby well, clothes. Well, we have... She purchased it with my money. You don't take your baby clothes. That's wrong. 
You it don't matter what we go through. You shouldn't have took his clothes. You put five dollars worth of outfits, polo outfits, puma outfits, all these outfits. That's you got I newborn you, baby I shirts. I feel she didn't deserve it because she put no, me out. No, you put, you know. She told I me to leave know. three weeks before. Yana, I, I, I it's can't. Not, it's not about me. It's I about my right, newborn baby. Be. It's not about me. It's about my newborn you baby that it, you took for your own son. She should have thought about that, Yana, before she went on I'd Facebook be a fool and told me to get out. stay in my house and you talking to other females. I can do bad by myself. What you She could have told me. She could have came to me. I can do bad by myself. I was single parent. I also have other kids at the house, too. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. She could have called me, Yana, on the phone and told me that. Calm down. Now, at this point, I've seen the receipts. They total $1,955.99. That's, That's correct. So, Mr. Singleton, I got to ask you. Yes, Sean. What would possess you to come into a house and take clothes that from a baby? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You obviously were going through something in terms of your thinking. Were you doubtful this child was yours? I was, Yana. In, in November, she lied about being seven months no, pregnant. that's not correct. Can that's, I finish, that's, please, Yana? That's Can I finish? That's false, Your Honor. She lied about being yes, seven months pregnant. Yes, I want to hear what you're saying. I was in New... I had relocated to New Orleans, so I comes back to her city to support her. Come to find out, she not even pregnant. I asked her, well, what... A, the sonogram. She said a sonogram comes in the mail. No. Your Honor. Your Honor, no, that, that, Your Honor. no, Your Honor, that is... Sonograms speak, do not come in the mail. Excuse me, Your Honor, Period. can I speak? Can I speak, Your Honor? No, you can't speak. That it's would my be turn. a fact. Move on. Right. So when I found that out, I'm like, okay, now we need to go to the doctor and see what's going on. When we go to the doctor, she's actually pregnant. Now I'm like, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. You told me you seven months pregnant, but now you're actually pregnant? Oh my God. That's why I have doubt, Yana. Okay, so the bottom line is, while you're out of town, she told you I'm seven months pregnant. pregnant. So just, you just to get me back to Jacksonville, just to get me so back. So you came on back to be there for her. I came back her. to be the father came that I want to be. There was no sonogram picture when you asked for it. It was in the mail. Right. Uh, and then you said, let's go on to the doctor. And when you do, she really is she... pregnant, but they give you a date as to how pregnant she was? Exactly, Yana. And I'm like, wow. Yana, that's not Hold... how it happened. I'm like, how, how can this be the date when she already told me she was seven months pregnant, y'all. So now, Ms. Jefferson. Yes, Your Honor, I'm good. glad I can speak now, Your Honor. That's not how it happened, Your Honor. This is what happened, Your Honor. I went to the doc I went to um St. Vincent's and they said that Teresa, you is not um you had a miscarriage, but I had conceded in September again because we slept together in September. Whoa, whoa. Two weeks after my birthday. Whoa, so that's Yana, when I hold conceded. Up. He already Object. knew this. So let me translate. Yeah. Please you... translate that lie. Say you were pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. And then pregnant. you had a miscarriage. Yes, and I did not know I had a miscarriage. And then you conceived another child with him. Yes, Your Honor, in September. When and you when... confirmed you were pregnant the second time, yes. how far along did they say you were? I was like a... I think I was... I went in a um, doctor in October, so I was like a couple of... Not a couple of weeks. I was a couple Yana, of weeks. Two lying. weeks. She I was lying. a couple of weeks she pregnant. Lying. Okay. I didn't even know that I had a Yana. miscarriage. Yana, Mr. This Singleton. Is Yes, ma'am. When you figured out for the second time she really was pregnant. She really was pregnant this time. You had doubts that you were the father. Correct. Why? She don't tell me where she going. She take the kids. She don't call me. She don't text me. So in a man's mind, in a man's, a real man's mind, when your woman is gone, for three, four days without no phone call, without telling you what... That's some no, type of doubt, no, Your Honor. Your Honor, It's no, some type of doubt. Your Honor, the reason why I leave, Your Honor, because he's disrespectful. I leave because he's disrespectful. Are you spending time with other men? No, I'm when not spending you... time with... Him. No, no other men. Oh, you're men. not with any if other guy. If I didn't guy. know this, my one guy, his name tattered across my chest. See, Your Honor, that have nothing that, to do with it, Your Honor. So you've that, never been with another guy. I'm faithful to All him, right. Your Honor. Yana You've that. never been with another guy. Another guy, no. She's no. Lying. All right, hold on. Mr. Singleton, you have a witness. Yes, I do, Please Yana. stand, sir. State your name for the court. Darnell Williams. Mr. Williams, thank you for joining us today. What do you know about this situation? Well, I've been knowing Mr. Singleton and Ms. Jefferson for almost 10 years now. So when Mr. Singleton left initially, I told him I was going to look after his baby mom and, and my family. his son and make sure they were straight. They didn't need nothing. 
So, you know, we don't knock on each other's doors. We just walk into each other's doors. So one day I was cooking some fish. So I had some mustard, but I ain't had no hot sauce. So I went down. <laughs> Got to have the hot sauce. Got to have the hot sauce. Okay, go ahead. Excuse me. So I went downstairs and just walked to the door. And so when I walked in the door, the lights was off. So you I kinda... walked into, oh my, whose door? Miss Jefferson's door. Okay, keep going. So when I walked in, the lights was off. So I hit the light switch and to my surprise, I'm like, man, what the holy heck going on? <laughs> she gonna try to pull her shirt down. She got a shirt with, you no, know, I don't see no shorts or nothing. And it's this dude sitting on the sofa who I don't know, he trying to fix his clothes. So she like, oh, DJ, you just gonna walk in my house? I said, we always just walk in each other's house. We don't never knock on the door. So I was like, well, who is that? She was like, oh, that's my cousin. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Really? Right, that's your John. cousin. It already been rumors going around that she been messing with a maintenance man. <laughs> Whatever goes on out there in the apartments, I hear about it. And I can see everything that goes on downstairs, to the left of me, to the right of me, in front of me. And so as you're sitting up there, you see the maintenance man spending a little bit too much time down yes, in her unit. Yes, ma'am. A whole lot of things broken. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Right. Williams, look. I mean, if he works in maintenance and there's something that needs to be repaired in her apartment, he can go in there and fix what You're needs right, to be John. repaired. You're right, John. You're right. But, but, but I right. will say this. Now, if we need repairs three and four times a week, now we might have an issue. No, but Yana, thank Yana. you for your testimony. You may be seated. Yana, can I speak? Can I say something? Now, listen, bottom line is, you're getting all this news Correct. and you starting to feel like, What's going on here? She's sleeping with other people. Correct, Yana. She was pregnant, but not pregnant. Correct. So you're completely confused as to whether or not you are this the child's father. Correct. And if I'm and not the yet, father of this child, I want my name back. Despite your doubt, you still you admit to purchasing this child a Correct. lot of clothing. Correct, Yana. You were getting ready for the baby. You were supportive in that way. Of course, I, I messed up things up, but I purchased, I also replaced everything that I messed up, Yana. I replaced her carpet. I replaced her television. I replaced everything that I messed up. Did and you I'm, replace the clothes, too? I replaced the clothes. She has more clothes for the baby. Even though he's, even though I doubt that he is mine. I still support him, even though I still doubt that he's Ms. mine. Ms. Jefferson, let me ask you this. Did he replace the carpet and the clothes and the things that he destroyed? No, he did not replace the, um, carpet. He, um, he did, two weeks ago when he seen my baby, he did bring me my baby clothes. That's the only thing. He did not replace, no, my, my carpet. What he did was cruel and hurtful. And that's really stressed me out. To the point that I have a baby at 37 weeks and six days. This is my last son that I feel that I'm gonna have. And she knew how passionate I felt about cutting the umbilical cord. If you felt passionate, you wanna tuck your And she clothes. told me, she told me actually two days before she had the baby, don't even come there. And I'm like, are you serious? Yes, I I'm, I'm like, are you serious? This is supposed to be my child. You, we, and, and I can't come share this moment with you? I mean, look, look at that little boy. It, it hurts. He's a beautiful little boy, and I would want him to be mine. But, Your Honor, if he's not mine, I got to take my name back because I, I'm tired of being deceived, lied to, and ran over <laughs> just because of this. He took all my baby stuff. My baby ain't have nothing but three, three outfits, and they was too big. It stressed me out, and he know it stressed me out. And so you felt so overwhelmed. And then overwhelmed. he texted my phone and laughed about taking my baby clothes. Soon after he did, soon after he did that, I, I changed my number. I haven't talked to him. Mm. Two weeks ago, I let him see, I let him see my son, and then he brought my baby clothes. But he still left, he still left the other clothes down there for um six to nine months and twelve months. And my baby is growing. So I have to, I don't have a jar right now, so I got to see how I'm gonna get him some more clothes. I have to support her. That's what it is. You don't, I She don't just said she didn't have a job. All the clothes that she purchased, she was purchased with my money. Okay, let no. me be clear on something. You took the clothes, but then you brought the clothes back. I did, Your Honor. He brought half of them back. He okay, so he brought them. half the clothes back. Yes, so, Your Honor. So uh, there's another half. It is another half. That's for the 12 to 18 months. I feel she don't need that right now because I still want to know. Them I still want to know if this is I... my child. But you, That's why. You so, okay. You so trying to be so nasty, but it's an innocent baby. We bickering and arguing over nothing, and we got an innocent baby here that's stuck in the middle of all this foolishness. And it's not about us, it's about him. He needs right, his Yana. stuff. He needs his stuff, Your Yana, Honor. She right. I'm tired she right, of bickering and arguing doubt. with him. I'm sorry. If this kid is not mine, yes, I will be hurt. And yeah, I do want some of my money back. With that said, I think it's time to alleviate this doubt. <laughs> and I think it's time for the results. Thank you, Jerome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics 
and they read as follows. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jefferson v. Singleton, when it comes to two-month-old Sir Javion Singleton, Mr. Singleton, yes, you are his father. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm thankful that these results have squashed everyone's yes, doubts. Yes, And I do want to apologize to Ms. Jefferson from taking the clothes and for any doubt that I have, but I do want her to understand she didn't want to put the doubt. But I'm glad we got the results, and now we can move on as parents. So as for your suit and suing for this, would you like to just drop your claim and know that now that he knows no, it's his son? Would, no. So you don't want to drop your claim? No. All right, so let's do the math. You originally sued for $2,000. Yes, yeah, sure. And so you admit that he returned half of it as the parents of this child, you both are responsible to care for this child equally, right? Right. Yeah, right? Correct, yeah. So with that said, I'm going to order you to return the clothes to Ms. Jefferson or pay her $500. Yes, Yana. All right? Yes, Yana. So the judgment is for the plaintiff. Ms. Wolf, you say that your month-long relationship with Mr. Shelton left you with beautiful twins who he is now denying for dubious reasons. You intend to prove Mr. Shelton fathered both boys, Luke and Levi. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Shelton, you say Ms. Wolf is a promiscuous party animal who has absolutely no idea who fathered her twins. You believe you are just one of several men who were involved with Miss Wolf, and you claim there is no way you fathered her children. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Miss Wolf, what do you mean he's denying your children for dubious reasons? He is the father. They look just like him. Um, his friends told me they that they looked like him. The conception date was matched up to when we were together during our relationship. I was with two other people afterwards, but both of them have been... Um, exclude, they're out of the picture. So, he is the father. Look at them, look at him. And so, Mr. Shelton, you disagree? Yes, Your Honor. Um, whenever I was with her, she was very promiscuous. She was always disappearing. Uh, she was very untrustworthy. I didn't know what was going on half the time. Uh, we did. We were together for a month and uh, messed around a lot. And she just was never there, really. And then she just disappeared one day. Disappeared? Okay, so take me back. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. How did you even meet? Uh, we met on POF. It was a uh, uh, internet dating site. Uh, we started talking for a little while, and then we just started hitting it off. We started seeing each other every day. It was really good for the first month, and then uh, one day, like I said, she just disappeared. She was now thinks she's just trying to grasp for straws and trying to see who the kids are. Or for wait a minute. So in one month, you disappeared, Miss Wolf? Yes, that's correct. So he's right. You yes. just disappeared. Yes. Why? Um, we were both partying at the time. I wanted a new lifestyle for my kids. They deserve better. So I just, the, I thought the best thing to do was cut everything off. This is before I found out I was pregnant and everything. So. And why are you emotional? What are you feeling? Um, I just want my kids to know their dad. I mean, my oldest one, his dad passed away, so he'll never get to know him. And I just feel like it's, it's important that he gets to know them. All right. So, how did you see the relationship with Mr. Shelton? You said it was just a month. <clears throat> yes, it, and like he said, it was really good. We hit it off. Um, we were going to church together. I thought we were both turning our lives around, doing good. Um, but it wasn't that way. There was trust issues. There was other issues that I didn't want to deal with with him, and so I just, I ghosted him, I guess you could say. So you did? Yes. You ghosted him? Yes. And how soon after that did you find out you were pregnant? Um, I didn't find out I was pregnant until May and I got pregnant in March. And so when you found out, did you tell Mr. Shelton or you just continued to no. I was, be MIA? I was living with my current boyfriend at the time. Um, he was pretty much gonna be there for them. He had no problem. He was there for my oldest son as well. I didn't bother trying to look for him because I wasn't sure myself. And, um, but the more and more I dug into it, when the conception date was and everything, um, he's the father. 
So earlier in the testimony, you said there were two other men you were sleeping with. That's correct. One... So why have you excluded them? One was a black guy, so they're obviously not <laughs> black. And the other one I used protection with, and I don't believe there was a way that I could get pregnant with him. Well, black people come in all colors, all sizes. But not blonde hair there are, there, Oh, no, <laughs> black people have blonde hair and blue eyes. That's why I turned around and looked and said, well, let's really see. <laughs> Because there are plenty of black people that have blonde hair and blue eyes. All right. So, Mr. Shelton, how did you find out about the pregnancy? Um, I just got a message from her one day on Facebook. Um, being the kind-hearted guy I was, I just said, okay, we can hang out. I can see you. She was wondering how I was doing. Um, she came over to the house. Uh, the kids were... or She was pregnant at this time. Uh, pretty sure it was like nine months on her, or it was, it was, she was about to pop pretty much. I feel like my kids were already born before he met them or knew about the pregnancy because I, I was waiting till they were born to see what they would look like because I was unsure and I was nervous. So. And so you feel like he never even mentioned them, you never even got in contact with him until after the children were born. That's correct. And so take me to the birth. What happened when Luke and Levi were born? Obviously, Mr. Shelton wasn't there. No, he was not. Who um, was? Ralph was there with me, um, but he's my current boyfriend. And Ralph he is didn't, Mr. No, Duquois. of course, he couldn't be there, yes. So, Mr. Duquois participated in the baby's birth? Yes, he did. And she also told me that the Ralph could possibly be one of the fathers also. Oh, she did? Later on, yes, later on, Your Honor. That's not true. I was already pregnant. He, I thought he knew I was already pregnant. I thought we had already discussed this. He's acting like, no, Luke is mine. So that's why we're here today, to prove that Jerry's the father of both of them. All right, so now you're saying your current boyfriend believes that he is the father... Yes, that's ...of correct. your twins. Because I do... I'll, I'll joke and be like, huh, he's just like you. That's your kid, you know? But just messing around with him because he has been there since day one um, of their... But he thinks birth. he's the biological he, father. Yes. All right. You know what? I want to hear from Mr. Duquois. Okay. Jerome, will you please escort him into the courtroom? With me. Right up to the witness stand next to the judge. Please state your name for the record, sir. My name is Ralph Duquois. Mr. Duquois, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are listening to testimony relating to Luke and Levi's paternity. We'd like to know what your relationship is to Ms. Wolf. Um, I've known her since 2008, on and off, and uh, we were together at the time of conception, having unprotected sex. So, what did Ms. Wolf tell you about the paternity of these two children? Did she say you're the father? That I could be possibly the uh, father of one she of the She told children. you that? Yes. She just testified... Uh, Luke, especially. I'm joking with you. What? It's not... It, I never told him he was a biological father, ever. It's been a joking around. He's been there since they were born, so he is their dad. She was partying, and she was not clear of the time and dates of when that happened. No. Why are you crying? Why are you so upset? Your Honor... That's not the truth. <laughs> Your Honor, she was partying with a lot of different kind of people. Why are you so upset, Miss Wolf? Can you tell the court? What are you yes. feeling? Um, I need a second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's take a breath. <laughs> so, Mr. Duquois, you say for certain you know you were sexually active with Ms. Wolf during the window of time when the twins would have been conceived. Yes. You remember that? Yes. Can you take me back and, and what happened? She would pop into my life, in and out, come over to the house, and we would have sex, and she'd leave. And so when she told you she was pregnant, you immediately said, they could be mine? That possibly, yeah. That I, yes, that I could be the father. I took ancestry, um, our DNA ancestry, and they came back that we have European... DNA, descent, and blonde hair, blue eyes does run in my family, so they could be mine. Do you believe you're the father? I think I am the father, yes. I could be possibly of Luke, yes. But not both, not Levi? Uh, possibly, but not Levi. So, Miss Wolf has said you've been taking care of the twins like they're your own. 
they're 22 months old, you've been pretty much their father figure and the person they have come to rely on to be a father in their lives. They need somebody. Those little creatures that, you know, <laughs> they need parents, you know? I was born in a family with parents and a mother and father, and mm -hmm. they need that. They deserve that. So, Mr. Shelton, I want to ask you, when was the first time you met the twins and you saw them? Um, after the last time I saw her when she was pregnant, um, later on, about another nine months to a year or whatever, she uh, messaged me on Facebook, Your Honor, and uh, she asked how I was doing, and she came over, and we were hanging out, and she said one of the boys could be mine. Just one of them? I never said that. They were sleeping in the back of the car, and she pointed to one of them and said that one of them could be mine. I believe I just said that he looked exactly like, this one exactly looks exactly like him. They're twins. So the suggestion is that two men fathered one set of fraternal twins. Yes, that's with, possible in the... It is most, you in the right place. We already know that is very <laughs> possible. It has happened. Science has already let us know. So what kind of relationship have you developed, Mr. Shelton, with the twins? Can you tell the court? I've only, I've only met the twins one time, Your Honor. I haven't had a chance to be in their life at all. I've been wondering about them. It keeps me up at night. That's why we're here. It's, I would love for him to be a part of their life. Um, I hadn't reached out to him at all. I was trying to file for child support um, against him. Um, but I would love for him to be there. Your Honor, last time that we, I talked to her, she was supposed to bring the kids over and we were supposed to hang out. But instead, I gave her my address, and then two days later, I got child support papers in the mail. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So you gave her the address for visitation, and, and then she, you got served. Yes, Your Honor. Well, if I'm the dad, I'd like to know. And that brings tears to your eyes just to think that it could be your children, <sighs> yeah. and you have absolutely no no knowledge of their daily activities? I have no idea what goes on in their daily lives. I don't even know what their favorite color is. I don't even know what they eat every day, Your Honor. I've asked her so we could see if we can come hang out, so we can come to an agreement, so we could do the paternity test, but it never just came, we never... But we don't need to hang out. out the it. thing is, you need to be there for your kids if that's what this is. It's not me and you, it's, it's you and the kids. You. It's about the children, yes. I know. So we don't need to hang out. We need to go get the DNA test like we are doing here. All right, I'm ready for the results, and we have yes. enough of them. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows, just so we're clear. Because we are dealing with fraternal twins and we know that fraternal twins could potentially have two different fathers, we had to test each child against each gentleman. First results relate to Mr. Duquois. In the case of... Wolf versus Shelton. When it comes to 22-month-old Levi Wolf, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Duquois, you are not the father. You are not Levi's biological father. The next result will be for Luke. And you say specifically it was Luke was the child that she said could be yours. Yes, that is correct. Okay. In the case of Wolf versus Shelton, when it comes to 22-month-old Luke Wolf, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Duquois, you are not the father. So, Mr. Shelton, now that I've read the results from Mr. Duquois, and he is not the biological father of either twin, does this change your feelings about the possibility for you being their father? No, Your Honor. If I'm their father, I'm gonna do what I have to do. I'm gonna take care of both of them if they're both mine. Jerome? Let's have the envelopes for Mr. Shelton. <clears throat> In the case of Wolf versus Shelton, when it comes to 22-month-old Luke Wolf, 
It has been determined by this court. Mr. Shelton, you are not the father. Surprising to me, Your Honor. Miss Wolf, you said Levi was Mr. Shelton's child. Here are the results. In the case of Wolf versus Shelton, when it comes to 22-month-old Levi Wolf, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Shelton, you are not the father. Mm -hmm. Neither Mr. Shelton or Mr. Duquois are the father of either twin. Ms. Wolf, do you know who is? This is so unfortunate for the children. I mean, I don't know how to find them. Do you know where the person is? We were in Oklahoma. How about the guy you say that you were with and you used the condom? Is that the person you're thinking about? All right. And the stakes are so high because the children need their father. They need to know. Mr. Shelton's been already... Thank you for coming. Well, you've gotten child support papers. Yes, Your Honor. It's important that you now move swiftly in your home court. Yes, Your Honor. But I'm just so sad for the children. Me too. Mr. Duquois, do you still plan to be in the children's life? I do. I will be there no matter what. <laughs> Even if I do have to help her find this person, whoever it is, you know, or... Good. <laughs> I want to say that is honorable. We, we talk about science here all the time. But love is the greatest thing of all.